Welcome back to another episode of SMB3 Warpless Seminar. Today is the first episode we start World 2. We will be covering Level 1. So like always, let's jump right in. Surprisingly, there are two ways to do the start of this level, and I can guarantee most of you have not seen nor have any idea it's possible. First, I will show you the normal way to do this level, and then show you the juicy version. Start the level like most levels, holding forward and B. You'll need to run right into the first wall and do a full big jump. Doing this will let you build your P-Speed and will be the foundation of doing the whole level with P-Speed. Be careful though, you don't want to wait too long before pressing jump once you run into the wall. Note that how well you do this wall rub jump will determine whether or not you land on the enemy with your full big jump. If you don't land on the enemy, which is most common, then you can just side jump off him. Don't worry either, these enemies are really easy to side jump off for some reason. Next you'll want to line your medium jump to land in between the next two bouncy enemies on the two heightened blocks, and from there, you'll want to do another medium jump off the rightmost block of the two, and land on the pillar of the three blocks and the top one being the enemy. Landing on that enemy gives us a free full big jump, but be cautious because once you land, you'll have to do a small jump right away to get over the bouncy enemy. As soon as you make it over him, you'll need to do a medium jump again quickly to not get hit by the fire snake. This jump will land you on the top music note. It's impossible to hold forward on the music note and bounce off it without hitting the wall, so we'll need to do a small turn back as we hold jump bouncing off the music note. Depending how big of a turn back you do will determine whether or not you land in front, on top, or if done perfectly, past the first Goomba. If you run into the wall, it will look like this. And you can try and recover like this. From here, it's very straightforward. Depending on how you approach the Goomba, you can avoid the next Goomba doing what you want, and make sure you jump over the pit. Keep running, and once you reach the edge, or before, do some kind of small medium jump or small jump down. Just try and avoid running right to the edge and doing a full big jump, because you'll want to prepare for the last semi-difficult jump. Once you're back on the ground, you'll run up to two bushes. When you line up with the first bush, do a full big jump to land you perfectly between the two piranha plants on a single block. And from there, do any kind of jump you want and make it to the end. Now I can show you the juicy hard strat at the start of the level. But first, I need to tell you that most levels in Mario 3 start you a bunch of pixels forward rather than at the very start of the level. And you can do this by holding left as you're entering the level. That means, once I press A to enter the level, I'll start holding left. We do this to give us more running space. The whole reason we run into the wall at the start in the first place is because we don't have enough runway to build P-Speed. So we use the wall to help, but using this method gives us enough room to build P-Speed. Watch and see. I don't recommend you do this as it doesn't save a whole lot of time for the amount of stress it can cause. Thanks for watching episode 7, I hope you learned a lot. If you like what you saw, make sure to give me a thumbs up and tap the subscribe button to know when episode 8 comes out. We will be doing World 2 Level 2. Also, if you would like to see some live action world record attempts, make sure to check out my live streams over on twitch.tv. Link will be in the description below. Thanks all. See ya!